In this world, children, there are winners and there are losers. You're small, shriveled, foul-smelling and weak. You are losers, children, and you always will be. Just because you find that life's not fair, it doesn't mean that you just have to grin and bear it. If you always take it on the chin and wear it, nothing will change. Even if you're little, you can do a lot. You mustn't let a little thing like little stop you. If you sit around and let them get on top you, might as well be saying you think that it's okay and that's not right. to be surrounded by so many children not having a wedgie and having my dinner money stolen, but hey. <laughs> you're like London buses. You wait for one former Matilda to come along and four show up at once. <laughs> so, listen, so we've got Cleo, Kerry, Sophia and Eleanor, and there's your photos up there. Look at... Oh! How cute is that? <laughs> you were about 11 when you started in the show. What's your favourite memories? 
Um, probably living up in Stratford over Christmas time because we were in like a really nice cottage and everyone lived together and it was just so much fun to not have to go to school all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and when you were performing in Matilda, you can tell Uncle Alan, which you were a bit naughty. Uh, we were children, so absolutely. Uh, I feel really bad for the adults who are in charge of us. <laughs> oh, OK. <laughs> Don't tell us any more. Huh? Or can, can you not tell us any more? <laughs> You got arrested. OK, <laughs> bye. <laughs> and have you continued performing? Yes, I've been lucky enough not to have stopped, and it's this magical show that gave me that platform, and, you know, that magic's still here ten years on. Forever grateful. Oh, well, it sure is. Please give it up for the brilliant cast of Matilda. Thank you so much. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs>